Welcome to the Signal Processing Basics course, offered by Flipped Academy. We are thrilled to have you join us on this exciting journey into the world of wireless communication. Let's provide a brief explanation of each topic we'll cover in this course. Introduction. This section will provide an overview of signal processing, its importance, and its applications in various fields. Discrete time signals. Understanding the concept of discrete time signals, their representation, and their relevance in signal processing. Sampling process. Explaining the process of converting continuous time signals into discrete time signals through sampling. Key concepts. This segment will introduce fundamental concepts in signal processing, including delta Dirac function, conclusion, deconvolution, and mathematics behind it. Transforms. Exploring signal transforms, such as the Fourier transform, discrete Fourier transform, DFT, and their significance in analyzing signals in the frequency domain. Windowing. Understanding windowing functions and how they are used to mitigate spectral leakage in signal analysis. Nyquist limit and anti-aliasing filters. Explaining the Nyquist frequency and the importance of anti-aliasing filters in signal processing to avoid aliasing issues. Filtering. Learning about different types of filters, such as low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, and band-stop filters, and their applications in signal processing. Examples. Illustrating practical examples and case studies to demonstrate how signal processing techniques are used in real-world scenarios. Signal processing hands-on with Python. This section will be a practical component where we will use Python to implement various signal processing algorithms and techniques. Throughout the course, we'll aim to strike a balance between theoretical concepts and practical applications to help you develop a solid understanding of signal processing principles and how to apply them in real-life situations. By the end of the course, you should feel confident in your ability to analyze, manipulate, and interpret different types of signals using signal processing techniques. A signal is any physical phenomenon that carries or conveys information from one place to another. It can be represented as a function of independent variables, such as time, distance, or any other relevant parameter. Signals can take various forms, including audio, images, electrical waveforms, or sensor measurements. They play a crucial role in communication, data transmission, and the study of various natural phenomena. The analysis and processing of signals are essential in understanding and extracting useful information from the underlying data. Signal processing. Signal processing is the analysis, interpretation, and manipulation of various types of data, such as sound, images, time-varying measurement values, and sensor data. It involves applying mathematical and computational techniques to process and extract meaningful information from these signals. Now, let's see types of signal processing. 1. Analog signal processing. It deals with continuous signals using electrical components like filters and amplifiers. 2. Digital signal processing, DSP. It handles discrete signals with computers or digital hardware, enabling tasks like noise reduction and data compression. A series of operations according to programmed instructions. Let's break down the flow of signal processing based on the image description. Input signal, analog signal. The flow starts with the input signal, which is an analog signal. An analog signal is a continuous waveform that represents some form of information, such as audio or sensor data. ADC block, analog to digital converter. The analog signal passes through the ADC block. The purpose of the ADC is to convert the continuous analog signal into a discrete digital representation. It samples the analog signal at regular intervals and quantizes each sample to a digital value. SIG PROC block, signal processing block. The digital signal from the ADC is then processed in the signal processing block. This block performs various operations on the digital signal, such as filtering, transforming, or modifying it according to the desired signal processing goals. The block takes the input digital signal and produces an output digital signal. DAC block, digital to analog converter. After the digital signal has been processed, it goes through the DAC block. 
The DAC converts the processed digital signal back into an analog signal. It reconstructs a continuous waveform from the discrete digital samples. Audio amp block, audio amplifier. The analog signal from the DAC is then amplified by the audio amplifier block. The audio amplifier increases the power or amplitude of the signal to a level suitable for driving speakers or headphones. Output processed signal. Finally, the processed and amplified analog signal is the output of the signal processing system. This output signal is the result of the entire signal processing chain, and it represents the modified version of the original input signal, based on the operations performed in the signal processing block. In summary, the flow of signal processing begins with an analog input signal taken from a microphone, which gets converted into a digital signal by the ADC. The digital signal is then processed in the signal processing block which outputs digital signal itself and then converted back to an analog signal by the DAC. The amplified analog signal serves as the output of the signal processing system, representing the final processed signal which is received by the receiver. This process allows us to manipulate and enhance signals for various applications, such as audio processing, communications, image processing, and more. Let's see the applications of signal processing. 1. Communication systems, modulation, demodulation. Signal processing techniques are used to encode, modulation, and decode, demodulation, information for efficient transmission over communication channels. Channel equalization. Signal processing is applied to compensate for distortion and interference during signal transmission over channels. Echo cancellation. Techniques are used to remove echoes in voice communications, ensuring clear and echo-free audio. 2. Consumer electronics. Perceptual coding of audio and video on DVDs. Signal processing methods are employed to compress audio and video data without significant loss of quality allowing efficient storage on DVDs and other media. Speech synthesis. Signal processing is used to generate human-like speech from text or other input, enabling applications like virtual assistants and voiceovers. Speech recognition. Signal processing techniques help convert spoken words into text, enabling voice commands and dictation. 3. Music. Synthetic instruments. Signal processing is used to generate artificial musical instruments and sounds, enabling virtual instrument plugins and electronic music production. Audio effects. Techniques like reverb, chorus, and equalization are used to modify and enhance audio signals, creating various audio effects. Noise reduction. Signal processing methods are employed to reduce unwanted noise and improve the quality of audio recordings and music. Medical diagnostics, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and ultrasonic imaging. Signal processing is used to reconstruct and enhance medical images from raw data acquired through MRI and ultrasonic devices, aiding in non-invasive diagnosis and treatment planning. Computer tomography, CT, signal processing techniques are employed to create detailed cross-sectional images of the body, assisting in the detection and characterization of various medical conditions. Security. Steganography. Signal processing methods are utilized to embed secret data within seemingly innocuous cover media, ensuring covert communication and data protection. Digital watermarking. Signal processing is applied to embed imperceptible marks into multimedia content for copyright protection and authentication purposes. Biometric identification. Signal processing is used to analyze biometric data, such as fingerprints or facial features, to authenticate individuals and security systems. Surveillance systems. Signal processing enables real-time analysis of video and audio streams in surveillance setups, aiding in security monitoring and threat detection. Signals intelligence and electronic warfare. Signal processing is employed in military and intelligence applications for signal interception, analysis, and countermeasures. Engineering. Control systems. Signal processing techniques are used to design and implement control algorithms in various engineering applications, such as robotics, industrial automation, and aerospace systems. Feature extraction for pattern recognition. 
Signal processing is applied to extract relevant features from data to identify patterns and classify objects in fields like image recognition, speech processing, and natural language processing. Kindly take the time to thoroughly explore this comprehensive module, as it will undoubtedly contribute to a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter.